Miss Evie. Do you agree to marry Mr. John? Whether he is sick or in trouble, will you still stay with him? I agree. Mr. John. Do you agree to marry Miss Evie? Whether she is sick or in trouble, will you still stay with her? I agree. I officially stated that Mr. John and Miss Evie are husband and wife. Mom and Mr. John have been married for a few days. We no longer live in the old house. We have moved to Mr. John's new house. Mr. John quitted his job as a police officer. He is now an office employee. Mom also quitted from Mrs. Lulu's company. She is now a housewife. Is this the life that Mom is dreaming of? Ella's mother marries Mr. John. Hello, Mr. John. Ella. Didn't we agree on how to call? If not. Mom. I remember. Hello, Dad. Hello. Ella. Today, I made tuna sandwiches. I like them very much. Mom. Why don't you make double chicken burgers? I don't like tuna. Ella. Tuna is healthy. Please stop eating double chicken burgers. Okay, Mom. Dad. Your house is big. But you've always lived alone. That's why I married your mom. We live together now. Ella. Your dad will take you to school. Okay, Mom. Hello. Are you the new neighbor? Yes, we just moved in. Really? I'm Kenix. I'm Evie. It's nice to meet you. Evie, what's your job? I'm a housewife. Really? It's good. If you have time, you can come to my house. My husband also works all the time. If you come over to talk, I will not be sad anymore. Okay, Keenix. Ella. Congratulations. I heard that your mother and Mr. John got married. You have a complete family. Thank you, Tina. But is Mr. John a strict father? Last time, Mr. John participated in a reality TV show. He was a strict person. I think Mr. John is easygoing now. Is that so? Why did Mr. John quit being a police officer? I don't know. Ella. This is Mrs. Keenix. She is our neighbor. Hello, Ella. Hello, Mrs. Keenix. Ella. You look very smart. 
I wish I had a daughter like you. Keenix. I have something to ask you. How long have you been here? My husband and I have lived here for three years. I heard that in the past three years. There have been cases of missing children in this area. Did you know? I know. It's scary. Luckily, my husband and I don't have children. Mom. That's strange. The police couldn't find the killer. Ella. The police couldn't find any clues about the culprit. That were hard. Those families with missing children were heartbroken. Mom. What if I am kidnapped? Of course, I will be heartbroken. Hello? Evie. This is my husband. His name is Jordan. Jordan. This is our new neighbor. Her name is Evie and... And this is her daughter, Ella. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Mr. Jordan. Ella. You look very cute. You are very suitable for... Jordan. You are hungry, aren't you? Please take a shower. Okay, Kenix. Jordan is a construction worker. He's always busy. Really? Mom. Could it be them? Dad. You're back. Ella, Miss Evie. It's been hard on you. You had to act this with me. Dad. Can I call you Mr. John? No one can hear. So you can. Mr. John. Half a month ago, you asked me and Mom to do this. You're on a mission. You investigate the case of missing children. So you want mom and me to be your wife and your daughter. We moved here. Mr. John. I asked Mrs. Lulu for a month off. She agreed. So I can help you. Miss Evie. Ella, our target is Jordan and Kenix's family. I talked to Kenix. She seems to be a good person. Don't be fooled. They might be pretending. Ella, you need to be careful. You will be their target. Yes, Mr. John. We need to find evidence of their crime. The evidence is definitely in their house. Ella. Hello, Mrs. Keenix. Can you come to my house? I have some sweets for you. Really? Ella, these are special edition Tim Tim cookies. You can eat them.
I like it. I don't think they've made any move yet. I think they invited me to eat sweets. Nothing scary at all. It's good, Mrs. Keenix. I like them. Mrs. Keenix. I feel a little sleepy. Ella, you are so smart and pretty. You will be of great value to us. Ella, where are you? Ella. Where is Ella? Did Keenix leave the house? If so, this is my chance. Mr. John has given me the necessary tools. I can break into Keenix's house. Hey, where am I? Ella, are you awake? Ella! Mrs. Keenix? Mr. Jordan? Why do you tie me up? You're being taken to another country tonight. What did you say? Could it be? That's right. You've been kidnapped. You'll be sold abroad. Hey, Mrs. Keenix. You look like a good person. Why did you do that? Ella. We kidnapped many children. But the police couldn't find us. Because we were very well disguised. A housewife, a worker husband. How could the police find out? <laughs> <laughs> I should have been careful with them. Just because I like Tim Tim cookies so much. Hello, Mr. John. I found the transaction documents of Keenix and Jordan. They are the kidnappers. Okay, Miss Evie. I'll get a warrant for their arrest. But Ella is gone. Could it be? Hey! Please let me go. Ella. You'll have a new family. You'll have a new life. I just want to live with my mom. How can I escape? Wait. I ate Tim Tim cookies, right? If so... Hey, why does it smell so bad? Jordan, what's wrong with you? The smell is terrible. I can't drive. <laughs> Ella, you did it, right? Watch out. Mrs. Kennex. Mr. Jordan. You're under arrest for kidnapping children. But why is your face so scared? Ella, 
You were lured by Tim Tim cookies. How many times have I told you? You will be in danger. I'm sorry, Mom. Who does ring the bell? Kevin? Evie! I heard you're married to Mr. John. Why? Kevin, actually. Ella can't have a stepfather. If he doesn't treat Ella well, Ella will be in danger. Many cases were like that. Kevin, let me explain. Luckily, Mom was only in a fake marriage with Mr. John. Finally, everything is back to normal. Why did Mr. John and Miss Evie have a fake wedding? A. They wanted to investigate Kenix and Jordan's family. B. They wanted Kenix and Jordan to believe they were new neighbors. C. They wanted to find evidence of Kenix and Jordan's crimes. D. A. B. C are all correct. If you like my channel, you can subscribe to watch more videos about my stories. Thank you very much.